Welcome to my workshop, you are watching Casual DIY channel and in today's video we're going to be checking out the performance of two blades. One that most of you probably know is from Freud and the other one is from Trend. Okay, so not many of you may actually know that Trend is making saw blades as well. So I just wanted to compare both of them in today's video so you can see how they stack against each other and what type of performance you can actually expect from them. Now, both of the blades are not identical, okay? They are slightly different. The Freud, for example, is 250 millimeters, 2.8 kerf size, and it has got 60 teeth. However, the trend is 72 teeth, 255 millimeters, and the kerf is 2.4 millimeters, okay? So they are slightly different. However, this type of blade is dedicated to do a certain job, finishing job, okay? So deliver a nice, good quality finish. That's why I decided to compare both of them together. Now, the saw blades are not brand new. I already had some runtime with both of them, and I think I'm at the stage where both of them had more or less the same amount of work. First of all, we're gonna use both blades on my table saw, the Evolution Rage 5S, and after that, we'll go to do some cross cuts on my mitre saw. And the materials I'm gonna be using for these tests is 18 millimeter chipboard, <laughs> white melamine, so it's definitely a good indicator of how a blade can perform. On top of that, we'll do some um, plywood, that's 12 millimeters in thickness, and a pine board, which is 45 millimeters in thickness. So that's enough of talking. Let me just instroid blade first and we'll run the cut. And after that, I'm gonna swap it for the trend blade. Right, so let's check out the results. First of all, the trend and the plywood. Nice and clean cut. No issues at all. Now let's check out the back. Again, nice and clean cut. No tear out at all. Okay, let's have a look at the Freud blade. Similar results, nice and clean. No chip out, no tear out, no nothing. Let's have a look at the back. Very nice and clean. No issues at all. Now let's check out the pine. That's Freud first. Again, nice and clean cut at the front. Let's have a look at the back. Few fibers, nothing major. Really nice and clean. Now the trend. as well at the front, nice and clean. No issues at all. So let's have a look at the back. Ooh, at the back, you do get a few more fibers. But again, nothing really major. Laminated chipboard. Let's have a look. Freud first. Absolutely perfect cut. 
at the front. No chip out at all. Perfection. Let's have a look at the back. Well, the back is not looking so great. Quite a lot of uh, chip out here, guys. Yep. Not too great. Let's have a look at trend. Now, in this case, you actually are getting a bit of chip out on the front, whereas the Freud was absolutely perfect. Trend is not, as you can see. Well, let's have a look at the back. However, the back seems to be better than on the Freud. Okay, still get a bit of chip out here and there, but it's definitely not as bad as Freud. Very interesting. With the table saw test completed, now it's time to do some cross cuts on the mitre saw. So let me just install the uh, Freud blade and we'll start the test. Check out the results. First of all, the laminated chipboard. As you can see, not very good performance on Freud here. A lot of chip out. Let's check out the back. Actually, the back is quite good. No tear out, just a tiny amount here. Overall, very nice and clean cut. But the front, well, not the greatest. Okay, now the trend, you do get a bit of chip out here, fairly clean cut on this part. In this comparison, trend is a little bit better. Well, let's check out the back, and the back is nice and clean, a little bit just over here, similar to Freud. Okay, now it's time for the pine board. Let's have a look, Freud first, nice and clean cut. Nothing major here. Check out the back. Well, the back, not so good. Quite a lot of tear out here. As you can see, check out the trend. Do get a bit of a tear out on the edge here. Overall, not too bad. Well, yeah, I do get around this corner here. Okay, let's check out the back. Well, the back, definitely not great. On this side here as well. Let's just check out the sides, that's clean. Yeah, the sides over here. But I think the side here is better on Freud than it is with the uh, trend, as you can see. And now the plywood, Freud. Tiny amount of tear out, just over here, a little bit at the end. The back is quite clean, just slight amount over here, but nothing major, quite clean cut. Now trend, I do get a bit of tear out as well, as you can see. a bit on the end. Okay, let's check out the back. Clean cut and then not so clean as you can see. Bit of a tear out as well. 
And as you can see, there isn't much difference between the blades, depending on the setup. I think you can get very, very good performance out of both blades. Now, as I said, not many people actually do know that Trend makes blades. And I think it was nice to see that they can actually produce a quite quality um, saw blade, as well as very good router bits. Now, as I said, this is not a scientific test in any way, shape or form. However, it was, I think, nice to see the in-use performance of both blades. And in this case, I think both of them came quite close. But I'll leave the final findings to you guys. Um, Rewatch my video, have a look what effects I had with both of them so you can pick the right blade for you. I'm gonna leave some links to both of them down below in the description of this video. And I've got some really cool playlists of my videos just over here, especially for you. So go ahead, click on those. Maybe something will tickle your fancy. Hopefully, I'll see you on those videos there. Take care.